Hello, welcome to all of you in Code Tea Point. My name is Amit and today we are going to continue with Python learning series. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to start basics of the Python programming by using print functions. So let's go and start it guys. This is my Jupyter Notebook interface and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new notebook and it is going to appear over here okay so this is a horizontal box which is we can say as a cell and we are going to start by writing the print functions so what is print function is as a name suggested it is going to print the input whatever we were providing to it it is going to print the same thing on the screens, whatever we will supply as a input. So let's go and start how to do it. I'm going to write print and inside the print functions, I'm going to writing, let's say I'm writing hello world. Correct. So you can say you can execute this piece of the code by shift plus enter or by going to here clicking this options called run button or either you can press shift plus enter so i'm using shift and enter so you can say i'm getting output hello world so it means the print function is taking as input and returning us the same things so that means whatever the input it is taking from us it is returning us the same things. So this is a task of the print functions. The as name suggested, it is going to print the same thing on the screen. Okay. I hope it will be clarified to you. So let's go and start doing another piece of the code. I am writing. Let's say I am writing Python programming. Correct. And I am executing it again. So you can say we are getting output Python programming. Another piece of the code I am going to write print. Let's say I am this time I am taking integer. Previously I was taking as a string input. This time I am taking integer as a input. And inside the print I just supply 10 which is integer so let's execute this part so that means in this part we are getting 10 as a output so that means print is doing the same thing once again for the integer it is taking as input and printing on the screen okay so similarly you can do for other data types right so let's go and do it once again this time what I'm doing is I'm taking a decimal values. Let's say I'm just taking 10.2 and I'm executing this piece of the code again. So you can get 10.2. So you can check in the first case, we have taken integers, we have taken string. Second case, we have taken integer and the third case we have taken as float. So you can say whatever the inputs we will supply, it will return us the same thing. Hope you will enjoy these sessions. If you have any query, please let me know. I will try to respond it. Thank you once again.